So, with Toy Story 4 already out in theaters, I thought it was time that we talked about some Toy Story video games. Uh, specifically, the top five best Toy Story video games. So, number five on our list um, is Toy Story for the, N the Nintendo Game Boy. I absolutely love this game. It was one of my favorites growing up. Um, I actually um, bought the game used when I first played it. I bought it at a uh, pawn shop. Um, I guess it's called Will's Pawn and Jewelry. Uh, I, I think that's the name. I may be wrong, but Will's for short is what we called it. And I believe I purchased it for roughly $7.99 in the early 2000s, which um, Game Boy games were still being bought and heavily played uh, at that point, especially with the Game Boy Advance being backwards compatible. But I bought this game, loved it, and to be honest, it plays, well, the levels themselves are almost identical to the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis versions. It's just miniaturized, of course, um, there are there are quite a few differences. Of course, color is one to be noticed. Um, color is the major thing here, unless you you know played on a Game Boy Color or a Super Game Boy or a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> uh, but color definitely um, wasn't quite as detailed as the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis versions. But all, overall, it's enjoyable. It's a really nice portable game. Uh, if I had to judge portable games, I'd put it in my I'd put it in my top 10 list maybe, which we may do that in the future. But Toy Story 4 of the Nintendo Game Boy is number five on our list of best Toy Story video games. Next on our list is Toy Story 4: The Sega Genesis. This game, well, I'm going to tell you right now. We've already talked about two of the ports. And it's no surprise the Super Nintendo version will be included because mostly there's not a lot of Toy Story games out there, but there's quite a few that we could talk about. But we're, if we're going to talk about ports and whatnot, I have to include this one. So Toy Story for the Sega Genesis. Um, I actually bought this one used growing up uh, at a flea market probably around 2003, 2004, sometime around then. Um, probably paid like two bucks for it. Actually, I do remember getting it. It was actually $2 uh, at a flea market. Um, but it uh, it's a really good game. I honestly like it. I, this is the version I play more often than not compared to the Super Nintendo version. But um, I really enjoyed this game. It's really nice. I highly recommend it. And I think it deserves a spot at number four on our top five Toy Story video games uh, list. <laughs> Number three on our list is Toy Story Racer for the Sony PlayStation or the PS1 or the PSX, whichever you choose to call it. Basically, it's a Mario Kart clone, which was pretty common in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and it's an actual, it's actually a pretty good one. Disney actually did a few uh, kart racer type games, um, like I think it was called Mickey's Raceway was one, and then there was Disney Magical Kingdom something, I forget what it was called exactly, <laughs> if I had it right in front of me I could, I'd know the name of it, but it was like you raced around Walt Disney World and whatnot, um, so Disney was, this was not a new concept to Disney of, um, you know, doing Mario Kart clones, or if you want to call it more or less Mario Kart ripoffs, but um, this game came um, in the early 2000s. I actually remember renting it. I think I rented it from a, I believe it was a movie gallery, uh, when movie gallery was a place. <laughs> uh, I think around 2003, late 2003, I rented it and played it for like a weekend, and I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said in my previous video, I play a lot of PlayStation 1 games, always have. I played it on a nearly daily basis um, for over the past 20 years, with the exception of being sick or in the hospital or on vacation or whatever. 
but um, I remember renting this game and I loved it, absolutely loved it. And basically, you're, it's, it's just what it is, it's kart racing. You just go around, you, you race. And there's also some like mini games similar to how it is and, and what was then the current, well, other than, I don't know, I think it actually predates that one. I think the last release before this in terms of Mario Kart was Mario Kart 64, which was a huge success for um, Nintendo and everybody wanted a slice of the pie. So that's how we ended up with all these clones, hence Toy Story Racer became one of them. And I think it deserves a spot as number three on our list. And of course you saw this one coming. We're going to talk about another port of the first game. Actually, we've already done the other two and the only one left for our number two spot was Toy Story for Super Nintendo. Now I know what you're thinking. Why did you put the other two ports on the top five list? Like I said, there's not a lot of Toy Story games and the ones that do exist, some of them aren't the best in the world. So, of course, we have to go back to the first games that came out. And yes, the Super Nintendo version does play exactly like the Sega Genesis version and is very similar to the Game Boy version. But there's also a lot of differences, including a level in the Super Nintendo version that's not present in the Sega Genesis version. But basically, you go inside the claw machine, you have to retrieve the little green aliens and take them to a certain spot. And that level alone, I have to say, is why I put it in my number two spot because it's fun, it's challenging. I absolutely love it compared to the other ports, even though they're almost exactly the same, except this one has um, better stereo sound, to be honest, it does, even though the Sega Genesis version is more colorful. And that level alone also made me decide that because all oh, the nostalgia, but I think a lot of you will agree, the Super Nintendo version is the superior version and it's the best and most complete version um, of the other ports. And based on that alone, that's why I put this in the number two position uh, uh, on our list. Now, before we do our number one, I'm going to say that by process of elimination, we haven't discussed several of the other games that have been released, like Toy Story Mania, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 2, the video games, and, and a couple of the others, including some of the Game Boy games that were released. Um, so, if they did not make my top five list, it means, like I said in previous lists, these are based on my personal opinions. You don't have to agree with them, but I hope you respect my choices, just like I would respect your choices. <laughs> um, but if they didn't make my list, it's because I didn't find them worthy or, um, what's the other word? nostalgic enough to include or the gameplay was just horrid or I didn't care for it or, or anything but this is just a personal list a personal five you know top five of course like I said you have your own opinions and but these are based on what I've done I've played all of the games all of the toy every single toy story game ever made I've played and I've, I've brought it down to top five and of course when I was discussing the ports like we put all three ports on our list and you know why did Super Nintendo get you know more over Sega Genesis well I've already said <laughs> uh, but you don't have to agree with that but I hope you respect that so if like I said if it didn't make the list I didn't find it worthy so let's go to the number one spot on our list for top five Toy Story video games and that game is Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1 or the PS1. Before you say anything, once again, let me tell you, these are my personal opinions. You may say, why did you choose this version over the Nintendo 64 version? Well, I chose that because this has some full motion video slash cutscenes, which makes it a better experience um, than the Nintendo 64 port which the Nintendo 64 was unable to do um, full motion video like that. 
um, because PlayStation 1 or PS1 or PSX, however you say it, um, was CD-ROM based, which made it, you know, of course the PlayStation 1 version is 32-bit, 64 version is 64-bit, which the Nintendo 64 version looks better, but the PlayStation 1 version sounds better, plays better, um, and uh, has full motion video for, for cutscenes. And of course the nostalgic factor, I actually remember I rented this game from a Kroger uh, when I was a kid. It was the first time I played it. I think around, I'm gonna say the fall of 2000, which this game had been out for over a year at that point. And I liked it so much that I had to have it. So uh, after I returned it, like three days, however many days you were allowed rental back then, I went to my local Ames department store. Yes, I'm that old, if I remember Ames and Hills and all those, but um, Ames department store is where I went and got my copy. And I think at the time it was like, it was about $29.99 or $39.99 where it had been out for over a year at that point and or a little more than a, well actually more than a year more than a year and a half i believe and um i remember i played it or i took it home i played it loved it i still have my copy in my collection to this day and to be honest it is one of my favorite toy story games and i believe it deserved and deserves the number one spot on my list of top five toy story video games and i hope you'll agree you don't have to agree but you know but I'm sure a lot of people are uh, nostalgic about this game, especially if you grew up in the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, and this was just one game that I absolutely loved growing up. Um, you play as Buzz in the game, and you go around and you um, like collect coins and whatnot, and you find Bo Peep sheep. And there, there's just like a bunch. I could talk about it all day. It's just that it's just that extensive of a game, and it was actually a really decent game. Um, but I think it deserves the number one spot on our list, and I think you'll agree if you've ever played it. And that, my friends, was the top five list of best Toy Story games. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and. You don't, like I said, you don't have to agree or disagree, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. With Toy Story 4 out now, I'm feeling really nostalgic for the um, Toy Story video games. And actually, I've, for the past two weeks, I've actually been playing them on and off just for the nostalgic factor, you know, of them. Um, but I absolutely love Toy Story. I love all the Toy Story movies. And of course, if a Toy Story game didn't make our list, like I said, I didn't deem it worthy enough. Like Toy Story 3, I absolutely disliked. Uh, yeah, I had it for um, PS3. I think I ended up selling it in a garage sale or something for like five bucks, um, which I'll probably regret that one day because I want to complete my gaming collection. But I was a kid, you know, well, not a kid, a teenager. And you know, you know how teenagers are. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell if you want notifications of when we do more awesome videos. And until next time, I'll see you.